Hello on the video. What's your name? Jessica Baum. Okay, it's Miss Baum. And we we still don't have any counsel for her. Okay. All right. On the record in state of Michigan versus Jessica Lynn Baum, 230-3381-FY. Ron, good afternoon. Assistant Prosecutor Bill Crino on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan. And you are Jessica Baum appearing by video. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Today's to be the day for a probable cause conference. We have a preliminary exam set for next week, but it's my understanding, Ms. Baum, that counsel has not been assigned to you yet. Mr. Crino, have you heard anything from um, anybody about the status of that? I haven't, Your Honor. I checked our file this morning. No appearance has been filed. This is a conflict case. Mm -hmm. uh, the public defender's office has been conflicted out. Um, so we have not received an appearance from any counsel. I would indicate for the record that there is a co-defendant in this case, which is Eliana Jackson, and that's another PCC that we have pending this afternoon. And just so the record is clear, once counsel is appointed, it would be our intention to hold a joint preliminary examination in the absence of a waiver next Thursday as scheduled, please. Well, let me ask Ms. Baum, have you, um, you haven't heard from a public defender, and I guess I don't know, have you um, retained counsel or anything at this time? No, I have not. Okay. So um, I guess I have to decide what we're going to do about next week. At this very moment, the public defender's office has been unable to assign you an attorney and i'm hopeful still that they can do that but your preliminary exam is set for next week on thursday the 30th at 9 30. um we have to decide whether we want to leave that hearing on as scheduled because currently you don't have a lawyer and if you still didn't have a lawyer next thursday i'm guessing you would want to wait for a lawyer before you wanted to proceed is that right is that a correct assumption yes <laughs> And if you get a lawyer, they would need time to be prepared. Um, although I'm not sure how, like, is this like a really discovery heavy uh, charge? It's it's not a discovery heavy, heavy charge, Your Honor. Uh, however, uh, my position is this, as the court makes this decision, um, we do not object to preliminary examination is adjourned for next week. I think the cause exists. Again, it would be our intention to do so. We do have to deal with the second co-defendant to see what her intentions are. but. Should Mr. Yang um, not object to continuing the preliminary examination, people would be willing to waive our point. Mm -hmm. Ms. Baum, okay, so our choices for dealing with next week, we can leave it on as scheduled with witnesses in the hopes that you have a lawyer that's ready to prepare and uh, prepared to proceed at that point. We could leave it on for without witnesses, so at least I can uh, touch base with you and make sure you have a lawyer, but don't assume that your lawyer is going to be ready to proceed to hearing. We could postpone the hearing to allow more time for a lawyer to be assigned and to be prepared. Does any of those sound like something you want to do? Um, I don't know. Okay. Okay. You want to be Is there any way you can address bond if I adjourn it? Um, Ms. Baum, you can you can address bond either way, whether you adjourn it or don't adjourn it. You're always allowed to make a bond request. Um, we can do it with, I guess, don't adjourn it, keep it on the schedule. I'm trying to get home to my kids. Yeah, I don't know whether that's going to make the difference or not. I guess I'll leave it on at this point, Mr. Crino. We may have to address the issue of an adjournment at a later time, but <clears throat> she's not in a position to waive anything at this time. And uh, I guess I'm I'm not going to sort of force her hand without counsel. No. And, I, and I think that's good, Your Honor. What I'll do is once counsel uh, is appointed and I get an appearance this week, assuming I do, I'll speak with counsel and see if they're prepared to go by Thursday. If they are, we can leave the exam on and deal with it accordingly. If not, again, the people are not going to have an objection to waiving our 21 days continuing exam and she wants to make a bond motion at that time, the court can entertain it with counsel as well. 
Sure, but I'll let her make her request now as far as bond. But Ms. Baum, you know I'm the arraigning judge and I set this bond. And um, I guess you expected to be able to post it at that time and that didn't happen. So I can't, um, post, I can't post it, but right now my kids are without electricity. My kids are at my sister's. I'm losing everything. I'm not going to run. I'm going to my sister's. She'll put up for me. I just can't afford it right now. My kids are without everything right now. When you spoke to me last, you told me that you were going to go home and that your co-defendant was going to go to your sister's. That's changed? Yes, but yes, yes. I talked to my sister. My sister, she's very Christian, and she wants me to go stay with her. And my kids, my electricity's off, so I can't go there right now. I need to go home so that I can get my kids They're situated. <laughs> And I have nobody here. Mm -hmm. It's only me and my sister up here and my kids. Right. Okay. I'll do the tether. I'll report. I'll drop. I'll do whatever I have to do so I can go home to my kids. Mr. Crano, do you you weren't at the arraignment? Do you have a position on bond? Right. What is bond currently set up, please? Twenty-five thousand cash charity with GPS tether and no contact orders for five individuals. I have right. no problem with contact. Hold on, it's his turn to talk. Right. Thank you. At this time, we would object to any change in the bond. I understand the defendant's position; she had some uh, issues at home. However, these are very serious allegations. These these allegations occurred as it relates to a homicide case that is pending before your honor on friday and it is a very acute situation understanding that the witnesses that were threatened and the presence of, of threats is a bond factor that we have to consider the witnesses that were threatened your honor directly related to a homicide exam was pending before your honor december 1st so uh, absent and substantial information in this case the, the defendant has probably seven prior felony convictions your honor um, she has a long and serious record. She has a history of drug abuse. Uh, I don't think that there's a substantial reason to alter bond at this point in time. We would be willing to consider it again at the time of the preliminary hearing. Okay. Um, Mr. Crano, you have Yeah, I remember reviewing um, Ms. Baum, your record, and I remember that you had the unusual convictions of assaulting an MDHHS employee and the conviction of absconding based on those factors. I do find that um, at this time that I don't, it's not responsibly safe to the public to um, to reduce your bond, but I will consider again as we move forward through the case. Um, I guess I don't have anything new from last time I saw you to change my mind, okay? I will see you next week, Ms. Baum. Thank you. <laughs> Billy Young is logged in now. This has been all week. Everyone's got the wrong name. <laughs> okay. On the record in State of Michigan versus Aliana Marie Jackson, 230332FY. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Assistant Prosecutor Bill Prino on behalf of the people of the State of Michigan. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Joseph Yang on behalf of Ms. Jackson. We're both present via Zoom. And are you Aliana Jackson? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Today's the... That was weird. Today... <laughs> this is done. Hold on a second here. Today is the date scheduled for probable cause conference. We have a preliminary exam scheduled for next week. Mr. Yang, you spoke to your client. Have you decided how you'd like to proceed? Yes, Sharon, I did. I have spoken with my client. Uh, a few things going on here. Um, I've not received um, the discovery yet. I did receive some media discovery, but not the police report discovery yet. In addition to that, I was on with when the co defendant's case was called. I understand she does not have counsel assigned yet. Um, at this time, I would propose that we leave it on without witnesses for next week to kind of have a touch point to make sure we know what we're doing with this. Um, both defendants are in custody right now. Um, and we will not be addressing bond at this point. So I, that would be my request. Um, well, since the other defendant uh, is still left her exam on as scheduled with witnesses, the witnesses can't quite be canceled at this time because we just don't know what's gonna happen for her. Just kind of fair warning. But if the attorneys are not prepared next week and I wanna do a time waiver, that's fine by me. I just have to count on you 
to be in contact with Mr. Crino so that he knows whether he's bringing witnesses in. Mr. Crino, will you be handling? Sorry, Mr. Crino, will you be handling this case directly? I will, Mr. Yang, and I want to have some communication with you about the case. I anticipated maybe we could do that today, but I'll call you next week. Your Honor, for the record, I don't know why Mr. Yang doesn't have the discovery. There is media discovery in this case. There are police reports. I'll make sure that he gets those police reports immediately. Again, I should make a uh, note for this record, and the court basically already has, uh, that there are co-defendants. We are intending to do a joint preliminary examination. We understand the situation with the co-defendant, and that she does not have counsel. Uh, and that may necessitate uh, an adjournment of the preliminary examination so that counsel can be prepared. And again, for the record, we're not going to have an objection to that. We will leave our witnesses on at this time and uh, talk to counsel as the week goes on, Your Honor, so we can give the court a better education of what we anticipate for next week. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll just leave it on and, and we'll figure out what we're doing next week. Um, of course, relying on the lawyers to have good communication. Anything else we need to address today? Nothing from the defense, Your Honor. Thank you. Nothing for the people. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. You're all set, Ms. Jackson. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh.